Hey everybody, this is GliderCat, and it's time to play more Satisfactory. Let's see. Last episode, we were talking a little bit about the trucks, or tractors. And we set up a couple truck stations. And we were going to experiment with the routing. And so I looked online, I did find a couple of videos and tutorials on how to do it. It's pretty easy. <clears throat> but the issue, the issue with the truck stations... If you want to keep your trucks running, you got to provide fuel. And the storage for fuel in the truck station is pretty puny. <laughs> There's not much, right? One stack for fuel. Now, the idea is that you provide in this input here a steady supply of fuel. And the examples I saw were using coal, but you could belt anything in here that's a fuel type. And when your trucks come through, they will automatically refuel as they're loading and unloading goods. So then the question becomes, well, how do you automate the delivery of fuel to these things, to these truck stations? And the best I could see, aside from using a mod or something that allowed you to use electricity for fuel or something, or electric trucks or something, the best I could see is, you know, you need another truck station. You need another truck station that's going to provide fuel. And then that that truck station somehow needs to get, get fuel. <laughs> so basically you'd have a station here that was for, say, coal, for example. And somehow that station would be fed by a truck that went out to yet another truck station that was near, say, a coal mine or some fuel source that was automated. So it would go pick up the coal, drop it off at this other truck station that just handles coal, and then in the back of that truck station, the other one, the output would take the coal, it would run a splitter and feed some of that coal back into itself so it could refuel the trucks that are dropping off coal to this station, and then the other end of that splitter would would go to wherever the other truck stations were that needed it. So you're still kind of stuck belting coal wherever you have a truck station. So, um, so for example, if we wanted to have this be our main cement factory, and we scaled this up and we overclocked it or whatever and, and amped it up as best we could and we said this is going to be our main concrete factory for the entire map and we're just going to truck concrete from here everywhere it's needed i mean i don't think you'd ever do that but if that's what you wanted to do yeah you need another truck station here that's going to bring in coal from somewhere and then you need some other truck station near a coal mine that's going to supply coal to this guy and then you would belt the coal over there now, say you've got this another big factory right nearby that's producing like four or five products like we got here, right? We've got steel ingots, we've got steel beams, we've got steel pipes, and then we're going to have the um, encased pipe, encased beams, I'm sorry, encased steel beams all produced out of this factory. Well, what if I want to truck these products out to my other factories? Well, if I want to do that, I need a separate truck station for each product. So I would need four or five truck stations along here. Four in our case, because we've got four products we're manufacturing here. Four truck stations, one for each product. And then I would also need to belt coal into those each of those truck stations. So I could do it from the coal station way over there. That we just talked about needing for our lime our cement plant and just run a belt way over here to these four truck stations or you could put yet another coal truck station in in a series here and then behind it it would be running belts of coal to all the other stations that needed it so i don't know i don't know it seems a little cumbersome and you can see those truck stations aren't small and you need to, you know, make sure that your belts, when you're belting around the coal, that you're not obstructing the path of the trucks. So you'd probably have to put those things up on stilts so trucks could drive under them or something. 
So yeah, it's a tough one. It's really the whole idea of producing products in a factory and then trucking them out to where they're needed is extremely compelling to me. I really, really like that idea. However, <laughs> the overhead to do it is a little frustrating. So that's kind of where I'm at. Now, I don't know if there would be a way of pathing these trucks through a central, like, um, fuel station. So, for example, don't bother adding fuel to your cement truck station. Don't bother adding fuel to your four other products over there. Your four truck stations for steel beams and encased steel beams and pipes and whatever else, ingots. Instead, for your truck route, always have your truck go through some station that is able to refuel it as a waypoint. Now that, that might work, and that might make a whole lot more sense. So say we had a coal truck station somewhere, you know, near our coal mine, and if we look at that coal mine, unfortunately, I put the uh, I put the conveyor elevator right on the mine, which I wish I wouldn't have done because now I can't split it. But I may be able to reorient that, uh, reorient the coal mine and still keep that conveyor or that belt elevator because our factory's kind of kind of lined up to that. It's not the end of the world if we had to move it; it would just be some work. But again, yeah, we could put kind of a refueling station somewhere within range of this coal mine. And then once we had that filled up, I guess we could have trucks go from there and refill other waypoint stations, like fueling stations. So they would just load up the inventory of a truck station with coal and then behind that station, you would see that the output of the truck station would be feeding right back into its input for fuel. And then you'd basically have, you know, effectively a fuel station for trucks. And you just need to make sure that as you were um, creating your truck routes, that you had a stop at those stations. Maybe more than one station. So that's kind of interesting. I think, again, I, I find it really, really compelling. Like, I really like the idea of doing that. More than even using trains to move product. I, I really like that idea. Now, I don't know if the trucks are glitchy, if it would be a nightmare. I know early on people complained about them. Um... But I guess my conclusion for now is I think I'm going to hold off. Reason being is I think if we go with that fuel station approach, we would want to have the map unlocked. And we don't have the map unlocked yet. Because then we could, we could maybe identify where it makes sense to put fuel stations. But I got to tell you, I'm super tempted to do that. Um... Just because of the design of the factories, I'm thinking of having these factories develop one or more products and then ship those products off to another factory that develops, you know, whatever it needs to from those inputs. And doing the moving that product via trucks instead of spaghetti belts or a big bus going through all the land makes a lot of sense. Doesn't make a lot of sense energy wise, right? From an efficiency standpoint or, like, you know, optimization standpoint, definitely doesn't make sense. But from a kind of immersion, factory building immersion <laughs> sense, man, again, I just find that really compelling. Anyway, we're not going to do that now. Uh, it's too much work for now, but we may. That's on the back of my mind. just want to let you guys know what's chewing on the back of my mind. I'm going to leave this truck station here. What we're going to do is take the output from this guy, which is over here, I believe. And we're going to belt this... Uh, concrete over to our factory and eventually i gotta put walls in that thing and make it look nice but let's get to it we want to make those encased beams and get that stuff going so let me get on it i cut some trees in between episodes too so 
This isn't the most forested area. It's not that important. But just while I was chewing on ideas here, I did cut down a bunch of trees. So yeah, for now, we're going to belt this all the way over there. I know it's a little goofy. I got to figure out the best route. We've got, I think, a steel mine or an iron mine right here. I don't want to go through that. Let's cut behind this iron mine. And run a belt kind of next to it. We'll, we'll figure out... I guess I should look and see, do I want to run on the inside or on the outside? Let's see. Um, why don't we go kind of on the inside? I think that's fine. I guess I can try and make it look a little decent. I don't know. We'll just run up along in the sky. Man, I wish I could zoom out somehow, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, but boy, I spent a lot of time looking through that. That's not going to work. I mean, it'll work, but that's just too horrendous. Yeah, I was a little bummed with the uh, refuel refueling mechanics. I was hoping for something a little bit easier. All right, here we go. You kind of need to find your way over here a little bit. We want to go all the way up. Hate to block this. This was going to be my path if trucks needed to get up here, but I guess we'll rework that if we ever do trucks going up that way. I don't think we're going to, at least not anytime soon. We want to run. I guess we can do our um, our elevated whatever conveyor here. I think we're going to go up right next to that one. So let's take out this panel and the one above it. I think you're going to need to, oh, it's hard to tell. I think it's the center of this one. Got to be right there, I think. Let's go get the uh, stacked conveyor or whatever this is, conveyor lift. We'll go, do, I could do threes. Let's do twos for now. I think this is our guy. Uh, this time it's going to stay that way. Now, I don't know how high these can go. We may need to do a little um, kind of relay somewhere along the way here. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. That's right where our platform is. Um, Oh, man, that's not going to work. There's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way. That is not bueno. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. That's going to have to... We're going to have to find a different way. Let's see. Let's change our toolbar here if I can. Escape out of this. One. Let's put that plate back. Yeah, that is not going to work for us. How else can we get this limestone up? Not limestone, but uh, concrete. We could go the other side. We'd have to build this platform out. And try and come up over here, maybe. Wouldn't be the end of the world. 
Not great, but it's not the end of the world. Let's see. Of course, I got power poles in my way. Those can be moved. Ooh, that was unfortunate. I think I just threw a platform down somewhere random. Foundation, I should say. Missing concrete. Look at that. I finally used it all up. Why is it not letting me? There it goes. We got stacks of this somewhere. Let's grab some. It's kind of actually good timing to get this uh, concrete factory up. It's slow. The production's pretty slow over here. We're going to need to... Um, we're going to need to overclock that... That miner... Uh, I do have some in here. Got tons back near the hub. We may need to rerun this belt, actually, on the other side. If we come over on this side, I'm thinking. Come up through here. And then... Maybe not mess with these belts. We could hop over if we wanted to and then come up. Come up like here. It's a little more a little more symmetrical. If we want if we wanted to do that, we definitely could. What do you think? That might not be bad. We gotta hop over a belt. But it puts us closer to where we need to be. In fact, hmm. Let's see. Fortunately, this is right near our our uh, our other little road here. Is this going to interfere? Might. Hopefully, you guys can see where I'm going with this. How about a five? Let's get rid of the existing concrete belt. We can use that concrete anyway. And let's route it on the other side. I think that's going to be better. Got another stray one here. All right. Yeah, let's get this. Uh, let's make this a little better. Like to, I kind of wish I had the uh, thing to delete the rocks, the little novelisks. Maybe we'll do that soon, sooner than later. Set up some production for the uh, black powder. I know we've got sulfur kind of near our other coal mine. I think somewhere out that way by the hub. Oof! Hurting all my strange keystrokes there. It's a little annoying. Am I in the way? What's going on here, fellas? Am I running out of materials? Can't afford. What do I need? Uh, I need more steel beams. Let's see if we've got some in inventory. I've done quite a bit of thinking and spending time doing that. So maybe some have accumulated here. Again, our hold up is we've got these two big buffers down here full of uh, ingots. So they're probably slowing down the accumulation of the steel beams. Uh, those are right here, right? Hmm. 
we can see what we can grab. There might be something here. Uh, it's not bad. Ooh, I don't mean to go up there. Let's do this guy too. 166. And can I grab these? I'll take every last little nugget. Well, when we get this done, this will be an accomplishment. But man, yeah, I, again, with the trucks, it just... Seems like it would be very cool to be able to ship all the products out of this factory with uh, trucks if you wanted to. Kind of like it. And I kind of like the idea of that fuel station. Having some fuel stations along the way. I'm going to try and weave this guy through here. I kind of want to stay on this side of the poles. And then... I don't know. Whoops, am I using the right belts? Yeah, eights. Yeah, I don't know why I needed to go get those, uh... Why I needed to get those st steel beams. Um, can we come at this a little straighter? Like... All right, let's think about exactly where we want to put this thing. I'm thinking right here, right on this, in the middle of this square. And then busting through these. Hard to tell which one is the right one. Is it? Can't tell. I can't tell which one it is. Uh, we'll do both. We got to go all the way up. I think we're going to have to... Um, do a couple elevators. I don't think one's going to do it. We'll find out right now. Let's, uh, let's grab that. Conveyor lift. Uh, it's going to be that way. I still need to try the stairs. I know people are probably wondering why. I'm not just using those. Yeah, that is going to come up just short, right? Or is it going to work? It's so hard to tell from down here. It almost looks like it's going to work. Let's go find out. I know it's a pain. I'm consuming. I need those blade runners. But we'll have a lot more products automated here. We've got the... Uh, those frames done. This will work. I like it. Perfect. 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 Oh man, that's going to do us well. Okay, that's our limestone. There, not limestone. There, that's our concrete. Here's our beams. We got a bunch of them already here. Uh, we can make this platform a little better now that we, we have everything where we need it. I know there's panels, I think, in the, um, at least I thought there were foundations at the fix in the fix-it store. Don't I have those that have holes coming through? But I bought those already. I don't see them here. Maybe, yeah, the walls do. I thought there were, there were floor panels or foundation panels that you could poke holes through. I don't see them. I'm sure there's a technique that I'm not aware of. Okay, this guy can take a foundation. Then let's fill this out a little bit. Um, we're going to do our same thing. We're going to snake these guys around. I think this is as far out as we need to go. Let's trim a couple of these back.
All right, this is more than enough space. I guess one high, one low. Let's see. Let's look at the um. Let's look at the recipe for the what is it? Encased industrial beams. Four steel beams, five concrete, six per minute. Ooh, ten seconds for each one. Um. And these are in an assembler. I'm not sure how much we're going to get. What our throughput's going to be from these these guys. I still have to hook that bottom one up. Should probably do that, but I'm going to Did we do that? We I'm going to do that. Now, I want to have the product up here while I'm working. Got to get those blade runner things. And that wasn't too bad. All right, we need to hop over this belt. I can should try my power slide thing. Can I slide under here? Oh, look at that. All right. I think we got room. Let's uh let's get these guys down. Stackable conveyors. We just need to go one high. We want to line up with this guy. And I want to be close. I feel like we're going to have a lot of belts to uh, upgrade. But that's how it is with just about every factory game I've played. Oh, oh, should have researched that parachute. It's on my list. It's on my list. Escape out of here. Think, do I have anything attacking me? Oh, I do. Let's uh, get our little buddy out. I see you. Come on. There he goes. Another stinger. Oh, that's the first one on camera. That's kind of cute. Alright, let's get some barrel nuts here. Kind of a bummer, man. I did mention falling off of things, didn't I? What else is down here? Are there more? Jeez, I've been down here, right? This is uh, how we got across. I guess I just didn't see these things. Let's, uh, while we're here, and since people like me to cut down trees, let's just do this so we know kind of where we're at. They're clever stuff to go check out. This might be cool to check out. Nice diversion. We've been doing factory stuff for a while. Can grab those. And let's see. What do I got? B for my flashlight. I guess we can put that on. Uh, barrel nuts. Yeah, let's do one more. Get out our little hand shaker. Keep her eyes peeled. Yeah, hey, there's a little guy. Hey, fella. Look at that. He left us a little steak. Next. Now, the one I ran into, I, th I mentioned this between episodes, I was doing a bunch of tree cutting. So I like to do it off camera because it's tedious to watch. But I ran into a big spider, like the big guy. And I had to fight it. And man, I was so bummed that I didn't get that on the recording. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's kind of why I didn't do a bunch of clear cutting over by our other coal mine. Just because I didn't want to like uh, burn through all the surprises off camera. Hey, there's a little fella. Are you lonely? Where are you? He... It's a little tricky back here. Oh, something sounds... That sounded like a, someone trying to slice at me, right? Oof. Here's this guy. Let's take care of him. 
Grab our snack. Say hello to that guy. Boy, that was a horrible shot. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, we didn't take any damage from those guys. What else we got back here? Hopefully some treats. Some coal deposits. Oh, the, you know, these spiders with my color blindness, it's a little... They blend in. I don't know if they blend in for you guys. They're a little hard for me to see. That's my excuse. But honestly, they are a little bit hard for me to see. I thought there was a colorblind mode. I thought I had that on. We got... Some stuff to chip away at here. Let's... This is kind of fun. Keep an eye out for buddies. Don't want to get pushed off a cliff. That's one of the things I seem to be susceptible to. Uh, I can't really get at that bacon plant very easily, can I? Take it. Oh, we can uh, grab some caterium. Don't know if we'll end up using that, but we'll take it. Any deposits or anything down here? We'll find out. I need to have my chainsaw when there's enemies around. I think we're going to come into Poison Clouds, and that's going to end our little uh, excursion here. Yeah, we got to get the uh, filters and that little breather thing, the gas mask. Yeah, and you cannot take these guys out. I wish you could throw those novelisk things, those explosives, and take out these poison gas tubes, but I'm pretty sure you can't. At least I read you can't. All right, that's it for this. That was a fun little distraction. Got a few spiders there. I think I got all the... Carapaces. Possible there's more going on back here. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything valuable down here. Seems like maybe just a pathway. That was being protected. Unless I'm missing something obvious. Some deposit of a very valuable ore. I don't see much. Kind of expecting a spitter over here. I don't see anything yet. Come on. Oh, there's a, a little dude here. Boy, it's kind of in a precarious spot. I hope I don't get pushed off. Green of all things, too. All that work for a green one. Is there some special little ore hanging over here? I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. Anything else to do over here? I could have sworn I came through here before. Maybe not.
Yeah, it's a little nerve wracking to uh, be this close to the side of the cliff. I'm always thinking there's going to be a um, one of those alpha guys charging me and knocking me halfway out into the abyss. We got something special here. Hopefully this isn't toxic. <laughs> It's going to take a while to chip away because it's pure. So we'll get a lot of it, whatever it is. All right, let's get out of here. Look at that. That looks so cool. A little sloppy. All right, we've cleared the zone, I think. Save lag there. Bad timing. Not near the cliff. Yeah, I guess I got to cut through here. Not sure what the value is of this cave. Like I said, I kind of was hoping for something special. But maybe I'm missing it. I don't see anything too special. Let's get back to what we were doing. We were trying to run that, um, run that cement up, right? And I fell off here. Let's not do that again. We'll make it all look pretty someday. All right, back to the work at hand, finally. You need to come over here. Hopefully we can do this without too much pain. Basically, I want you up there. Are you willing to do it in a way that doesn't look totally crazy? It's not horrible. It's not perfect. Have been better, but in the interest of time, uh, what am I getting? My fan, my computer fan controller pops up. Right, let's go. This will be an accomplishment having this factory done. We can, yeah, I can maybe between episodes at some point, probably not anytime soon, clean this up, trim up the edges, wall, put walls up, all that good stuff, but not right now. Okay, we want to put down the assemblers. I got the products coming. There's the cement now for concrete. Got plenty of room. Let's start over here somewhere-ish. And we need assemblers for this, I think, right? Assemblers? No. Uh, yeah, two parts into one. That's what we want. Might. Uh, that's fine. These are pretty big, huh? Uh, are they wide? They're block wide. That's not horrible. I'm going to go one more back. Boom. I'm going to start with three. I don't know how many I need, what the ratios are. Oh, okay. Is that right or is that right? One more. That's fine. Ooh, problems ahead. Escape out of this. Ooh, man, that's a little scary.
Oh, what happened there? We do not space between these. Is that plenty? That seems like plenty, right? All right. Third one over here. Don't fall off. I guess I've been doing it like that. It's a little less than a whole panel in between them. Is that about right? Yeah, it's almost a whole panel. They kind of step over a little bit. All right, we got to do this stuff. Which one's going to be on the bottom and which is on the top? This guy. Wow, is that crazy? Ah, I've got to find a way to turn that off. That drives me nuts. All right. Uh, control. I know what's intended there. They're trying to be helpful and have that be where the elevated belt is. Let's try it. Let's try not to uh, fight what they're trying to do for us. Try and see if I can make that work. It is a time saver. It's just, uh, does drive me a little crazy. But it is meant to help. Makes sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I can't, uh, can't deny it. I gotta get power up here too. Now, do I want to stack this on top of here? Can I? Do I need the thingy doos to do that? Let's see. Let's grab those. Uh... Actually, before we do that, let me try one more time to elevate this thing just the way it is. So if I click, click, can I make that go? There it is. That's what I was looking to do before. Why was that so difficult for me to figure out? Just mouse up. Okay. Let's do, let's go get those um, stackable poles. Yes. Oh, that line's not straight, is it? Um, should probably be, this should probably be corrected, I'm thinking. Let's, uh, let's try that. I could use the uh, concrete anyway. I'm thinking we should try and have this belt straight. Too much, huh? Oh man, that was uh, brilliant. Let's 
trying to hurry. I want to get this done. We're so close. have to be good enough. Alright, I think I can put... We'll try it. We'll try this and see if it looks good or if it looks not so good. Boom. Boom. not going to match up perfect probably on the turn all right we're embracing the game's suggested approach i believe i believe this is what they want us to do is product going to come through here yeah not bad not bad yeah it would have been better to do this in the other lines but we're learning as we go so i'm okay with that Let's get the recipe selected. We're doing encased industrial beams. Modular frames. We've already got those automated. Boy, this other stuff we gotta get. Ooh, see, yeah, we're gonna export pipes somewhere to where there's copper. And then we'll build these a little factory for staters. Alright, that is you. You just need power, but let's get the rest of the recipes done. Whoops. Let's see. Where's my C? <laughs> I'm not running. Uh, Alright, let's do it. Base industrial beams. Base industrial beams. Now, my power wall is way over there. Let's do it. Let's use it. Ooh, now I see where you really gotta use the slide. I'm gonna slide right off the edge, though. That could be problematic. I'm not gonna take a chance. Alright, walls... Power nuggets. That's a little closer than I wanted. Um, I'm not sure how thick the walls are. Or where they kind of snap on. But I want to probably get a wall. I, I don't know if we'll be able to. Think about that later. But boy, it's going to be slow, right? Six per minute. One every ten seconds. Let's uh, let's wrap it here. Let's wrap it here. It's been a kind of a long one. But we finally did. We are making the encased beams. And that caps off the steel factory. Talked a little bit about the trucks or tractors at the top of the episode. Again, for the, about the fifth time. I just, man, I think it's super compelling. If we could make that work... Uh, and find a way to do it. Now, if it's all janky, then yeah, maybe maybe we won't. We'll do some early experimentation with it. Just not yet. I think I want to wait till I get the map. 
But again, right now, when we were looking at those recipes in the assembler here, we saw the staters, right? And they need the steel pipes, which we're making here. And they need copper, right? Where are the recipes? Select recipes. Yeah, like these staters need steel pipes in copper wire. So it'd be nice if we could just export copper pipes via truck from this factory over to some other factory that, um, you know, is near a copper mine and is making that wire. So we'll see that, that I, I, I just, I like the idea of that more than I like snake and belts halfway across the map. Trains. We'll see what we do with trains. Um, Sounds kind of cool, too. Seems like the trucks would be a little more flexible, but I bet the trains can move a ton more product. But yeah, let's call it an episode here. We've been making some progress. I'm pretty happy. We probably need to amp up the... Uh, we probably need to overclock the... Limestone mine. But we could do that. Maybe hmm. Eventually we gotta clean up the ugly the ugly here. It's pretty it's pretty ugly. But yeah, we're getting closer and closer to what I think are scalable factory designs. Not super pretty. But um you can kind of see where I'm going with it. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh this is Glidercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this content. I enjoy putting it together. This game is awesome. I really do enjoy it. I'm going to keep playing. For as long as you guys seem to watch, I will keep playing. Um, so yeah, let me know with a like if you want to see more of this content and want me to keep going. Um, and let me know with a comment if you don't and you want to see me move on to the next game. I think the next game, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do in the next time slot. Like this time slot is a specific time slot on my channel. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays with Sundays as a bonus episode are typically long Let's Play factory games. And I've got a couple options. One is Fortress Craft Evolved. Another one is maybe trying to do Minecraft with some kind of factory automation mod and some kind of modern looking texture pack. I've never played Minecraft. I don't know if that combination would even work or is feasible, but it's just in the back of my mind. And then also in this slot, we've got... Um, Bopio has had a huge, been going through huge changes, like huge update with more content, more monsters, more buildings, factory buildings and machines. That's on the verge, I think, of coming out. Then we've got um, Boundary has had a ton of stuff added to that game since my last series. So that's also an option. So yeah, a bunch of different options. Not sure what's going to come next, but hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. I'd like to keep playing this for quite a while. See if we can't make some more progress. Move up the tiers. Anyway, that's enough of my babbling. I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks again so very much.